Hey guys, today I want to take you through a tutorial about how I set up ClickTrack in Ableton Live. This will work with any of the versions. Um, I'm personally using Lite because that's all I have right now, but I'll be able to show you how I set up the ClickTrack and um, be able to set you up with easy ways to do it for yourself and with your church. In this tutorial, we'll just focus on the click and the intro cues aspect. We won't use any audio files as a lot of churches do, but this is more focused for those who are just trying to get into click and not necessarily into verse and um, chorus cues, which then link to audio files that they'll be playing in case they don't have an instrument. This is just to give you guys a click so that you'll be able to stay in time with one another and so that your drummer doesn't have to cue off each song. So you're gonna need two things for this. Um, the easiest way I found is to head over to loopcommunity.com and purchase their cue pack. It costs $5, but it's well worth it because it's going to save you a lot of time. I'll provide a link in the description below, so go ahead, download that. The second thing you're going to need, I provided for free in the link below. I created MIDI cues in order to work with the product you bought from Loop Community to trigger um, vocal intros for your, each of your tracks so that you don't have to have a drummer queuing off each one with a stick on the ride as that can get obnoxious during um, worship times. So in order to do that, just download that in the link in the description below and then let's get into how to set it up. So once you've downloaded those two things, we're going to go into our Ableton concert and the first thing we need to do is add those two folders into our Ableton concert from our downloads folder, which is where they should be. So click on add folder. We're going to come over in here, click on downloads, and you can either search it or just click on it um, in your downloads folder. So we're going to click on QPAC first, open, add the next one, intro MIDI cues. So we're going to open the QPAC folder first. It's going to look like that. Then you're going to come into English or Spanish, whichever you choose. And then we're going to come down, in this case, English. Uh, LCQ pack, open that up. And then we're going to use LCQs. Double click that. And then delete that other track. So what we have here is a drum rack of audio files that's waiting to be queued and all we have to do is use MIDI cues to do that for our intros to songs. So that's what I provided you is with the cues in order to do that. So let's say for do it again it starts in 4-4 or the whole song's in 4-4 so therefore we're going to draw, draw in the 4-4 drag and then release your finger on that top section so that when I cue off do it again it'll cue off an intro with the 4-4. One thing to note is when you drag it in, often what happens is it's automatically looped. You're going to want to unselect that so it doesn't continue through the whole song. It just happens in the intro. And then make sure your click is selected within Ableton. So if I cue off, do it again. Intro, two, three, one, two. There we go. Intro, two, three, four. Sorry, I was a little screwed up at first just because I had been messing around in here earlier. But we could draw in 6 8 for greater you and Lord. 1, 2, intro, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. And 3, 4 for great is thy faithfulness. How to add a song is come over here, two finger click on your trackpad, and then you're going to click insert scene. And what that'll do is it'll copy your last song. In this case, that's King of My Heart, but we want a different song. We're just, so we're just going to two finger click on that, rename backspace, type your name of song, semicolon, your BPM, we're going to do 88, and then semicolon, and your time signature, we'll do 404 in this case. So that's how you add a song over into your song list, you can do as many as you want. With the light version that I have, um, all it limits you is these tracks here, you can do tons of songs still, and as long as you're not running audio tracks, you're just fine if you're just doing click and cues with having the light version. If you're getting into needing more tracks, then you're going to have to upgrade to the um, standard or suite versions. One more thing that I like to do is I like to come over here into the cue assign. And what this does is it prevents me from having to 
move my mouse and cue off each individual song. So if I click on the first song, I can choose a key on my keyboard to cue it off. So if I have key selected, let's say this is my first song, so I click the one on my keyboard. It'll automatically put in that one, so now it's assigned to that key on my keyboard. Great, are you Lord? Two, three, so now, if I press 1 on my keyboard, one, let's do it again, 2, two, one, two. The greater you lord, and so on down the list. Um, that just saves a lot of time for whoever's running it so they don't have to move the mouse to the song, they just have to look down, okay, this is the second song, say greater you lord. One, one, two. I think that was looped, there you go, yep. So make sure you do that with all of your tracks. One, there we go. two. So yeah, that's how you guys do it. Um, if you'd like to subscribe, please do so in the link below to keep updated with all the things we'll be posting. I'll hopefully get into some more mid stage stuff. It's been pretty busy with school, but um, sorry I haven't posted in a while. Um, I'm coming up with a patch here in a few few days, and hopefully we'll have that out to you guys. Um, thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe, and I hope to see you next time.